Well, it is slowly warming up, and soon we'll be hitting the pool or the beach. And with that comes the touchy subject of swimsuits. How do you pick the right one for your body? Catherine Schuler, a style expert and curator for Runway the Real Way, is here to help. Catherine, thanks so much for being Hi, here. Cindy. Nice to be here. A scary uh, time. Yeah, the bathing right. suit time. Da -da -da drum roll. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have a program called Shape Shopping with Figure and Fit. So I say, know your shape, show your shape. It's not know your shape, hide your shape. You're not going for camouflage and all that. You're taking the interest and the attention where your assets are. So it really behooves you to find out what body type you are, what the body types are. I say waist and waist knot. Either you have a very defined waist mm -hmm. or you don't. So the waist knots don't have a defined waist. The waist and women <laughs> right. have a defined waist. So you say we have five different uh, yep. body shapes. Let's start with uh, rectangle. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the rectangle we see here on Zoe, she's wearing uh, a suit that's called the warrior suit, and it's got the the curve on the the middle of the body that draws the curve on the body. You can see the the silhouette. She's more straight up and down. That's more like the bust, waist, and hips are almost the same proportion, the same measurement. You want to draw a curve on the body because she tends to feel a little blocky, a little columnar. So this suit um, by Swimsuits for All um, really really draws that curve on. Yeah. So your so eye goes to the center. And this is more the athletic body. Yep. Okay. And, and, yeah, and she doesn't feel as feminine. Mm -hmm. So this draws a curve on her body. Right. So you're actually fooling the eye by doing that. All right. So we thank. Thank you. Let's talk inverted triangle. That's uh, swimmer's body. Yeah. yeah. It's broad <laughs> at the top and narrow. And I like to take the attention. This is the Vizcaya suit. Mm -hmm. And I like to take the attention to the center, make a V, mm -hmm. uh, do the, the attention on the side. And this woman feels a little bit like she's um, uh, athletic too. So this white suit with the lace and the lace up is a beautiful feminine detail. So it kind of softens her, her athleticism. And um, she looks amazing, and I think it's a wonderful suit. That, and it comes in black, so if you're a little bit about, about the white, yeah, white people are kind of afraid yes, of white because white, yeah, the, 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 the hello, yes, and it, it also the, the field it becomes larger because of the lighter color. But black, it just also comes in black, and it's a, just a gorgeous Vizcaya suit, amazing, amazing suit on page, and it's actually um, I think this brand is the um, uh, with the United. Miss United States mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. adopted this look, so okay. you're going to see this on, on the runway and the pageants. Okay, thank you so much. Let's talk. Now, the oval shape, yeah. I think, is the one that most women relate yeah. to. And, it, you know, it's uh, it, having a tummy is not the end of the world. Mm -hmm. You know, we think, oh, they call this the barrel body, and I, I hate those terms. I just call it an oval, and really, it's most of the attention is in the middle of the body. That's where your tummy is. Mm -hmm. It's not the end of the world. What you want to do is is to kind of take the emphasis away again bring it up towards your face you see this Tim Snell collection by always for me has the em emphasis above the body it's a crisscross mm -hmm. tankini with this retro pattern and it actually comes in two different sizes so you can get the top that's bigger and the bottom oh, that's comes terrific. in yeah so that's a skirt a short and a brief you can have the different uh, bottoms that really kind of in whatever exposure you want right. and then you throw a beautiful um, cover up over it and a beautiful bag by Couture de Eel and you're set for the beach. The other look is the luxury suit by Always For Me and you see how it kind of drapes through yeah. the tummy. It's not overemphasizing that she's got a tummy. You don't really see her tummy. It's hidden in there. But it's actually a suit that works on a lot of universal body types. So whatever works on uh, on an oval works on some of the universal stuff. Definitely. They look wonderful. Thank you so much. Thanks, ladies. All right, next we have Hourglass. Yes, this is the the hourglass body, and this is a suit that's the bikini, mm -hmm. and you know. I love the fact that Elizabeth Taylor is the, the model in the blue, and she designed this. This is a, the reinvention of the bikini mm -hmm. for the plus size women. It's got a larger triangle. It's got a more sturdy strap. It's got a larger triangle cup. The, uh, the bottom is V'd. It's got um, uh, shirring on the side, so mm -hmm. it elongates the leg. Where it was a beautiful cover up, and uh, you know, it comes in a python. Now Asia is is also an inverted triangle, so mm -hmm. you can see she's bigger at the top so it even works on her so the triangle 
is a C to a G, so the cup can really cover. You need the coverage when it comes to two piece. And speaking of coverage, I love these shawls. I, I mean, they match mm -hmm. the bathing suit so well. Yep, and it comes with it. And <laughs> <laughs> it's curvy beach. All right, thanks so much. All right, and then finally, triangle. Yep. So this is another very common body type mm -hmm. because the, the emphasis on the bottom part of the body and you want to bring the attention away from where she's the, the, the widest. So this has a flounce and it's got a one shoulder look and I like the fact that it brings the attention up away from the hip. That's what you're going for is balance and proportion. You don't want to say, oh, it's going to draw attention to my hip. No, you're going to bring the attention up to the top of the body. See, it is interesting because when I was looking at the suit, all you do, you're looking at the top and the ruffles and the one shoulder, and I didn't even notice. Right. Like, you know. Right. The two no. white is actually down there. Mm -hmm. So that's what it is. It's illusion dressing, and it's a beautiful suit uh, by Swimsuits for All, and you just team it with that Bahamas bag from Couture <laughs> to Eel, and you're set to go. And you should really accessorize your your um, outfits because that's another way to take the attention away from you know where your challenges are and know your shape, show your shape. Uh, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> this is terrific. So let's take a look at all the ladies. And this is great. As we go bathing suit shopping, what should we think? Because most of us say, ah! Yes, and I, I think you should find out what your shape is. Don't be afraid to understand where your differentials are. I don't call them measurements. I don't call them numbers. I call them differentials. If you buy a suit and if you have to go up a size, cut the size out when mm -hmm. you get home because it's really about the fit. You want it to be as flattering as possible and go for that 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 fit and shape and <laughs> proportion. All right, Catherine, thanks so much. And ladies, thank you. You look beautiful. Yay! <laughs> Hit the beach. <laughs> now, if you missed any tips or to get information on the bathing suits featured, head to our website, cbsnewyork.com.